All right, guys, getting ready to head through these mountains here, and uh, we're gonna head down the stream here, and gonna go out, and I'm gonna show you what I take with when I head out for more than a couple days here. So I'll show you my bushcraft bag. All right, we're gonna follow this here stream up through the mountains. And there's a crossed log. Right here, I have a nice canvas, tent, tarp. You can make any shelter you want out of it. And what I do is I walnut dyed it. I'll show you here. I have it tied to the bottom using paracord. I tie it right here to each strap on the Alice pack. That's a great affordable pack for anybody. For a day trip, a couple days, I'm going to show you what I take with for the couple days journey. More than two. Here is the tent I use. And I have stitched eyelets in each corner and in the centers. It rolls up real nice. I just take a clove hitch right here and a square knot and tie them shut. That makes it really tight. That's just as tight as a tarp strap. And I'll unroll that tent so you can see it. Alright. Got my walnut dyed tent here and I showed you that, uh, dyed it with walnut and treated it, makes a great shelter or tent. Got the Alice pack and I keep like uh, my tomahawk on the side and slides right in the, they have like little slits here in the side, already sewed fast so I can easy access the hatchet or tomahawk and I made that to fit right in there and on the side pouch here is my things like trail mix I carry gloves these are nice wool gloves I got Army Depot they're around three dollars so that was a great deal then keep my canteen on the side and you can use that for anything up to a container for water storage or making char cloth if you set your rock on it so there I got the canteen in front I keep my fire starting stuff in this pouch I made a leather pouch for it I keep a cotton rag uh, nice and long and sewing kit that's in my video in the earlier video and that has fishing stuff right in here I have all the split shots I'll show you a little closer all the split shots and uh, hooks and a needle for the sewing has spider wire on a spool and I'm gonna bring us in a little closer so we can see everything Okay, so I keep a notebook, that way you can keep track of what you're doing, where your traps are, uh, coordinates if you get lost. I keep super glue readily available in case you get, uh, in case you get cut real bad. And I keep neosporin in there also and a sharpening stone. This is a real nice one for sharpening a knife because you really need a long one to run the knife blade across and one that's nice to handle to run circular for your hatchet. So I keep that kind of stuff in there and of course the Pharisee and Ron I keep one in my pocket. 
Now, on to the other stuff here. The front pouch has three compartments. And this one compartment, I keep a Nebo Redline flashlight. It's one of the best flashlights I ever bought. It has different settings on it, one for a SOS, and the other settings are a brighter phase and a lighter phase. This light here sells for $29. You can look at it on the internet, it's Nebo, and it illuminates really well. It has a magnet here, you can put a needle on it, magnetize it if you're lost. And I had it in my cellar, and I stuck it fast down there to the metal, forgot about it, and it came back four days later, and it was still shining, but it wasn't as bright, but it was still shining. So I keep that in that pouch. That lasts a long time. It's like a spotlight. It's that good. And I keep cordage, keep power cord, and I keep uh, bank line in the bottom. So I got paracord in there, keep paracord in here, and a compass. Uh, this is an inexpensive one. I have more expensive ones, but this is pretty light, so I just take it because it's light. This compass is Silva, and it has a mirror. You can find this on Amazon. Um, has everything you need, coordinates, and inches measurement on the sides, so you can tell your maps better. So I carry that, it's nice and light, practical. You just need to get your general directions. So we got three pouches there on the inside. It's an easy opening. It's got a handle here, it adjusts and pulls tight. So here I keep my fire tender inside. And that I'll keep a just a gallon bag and I'll put it inside there, keep it dry. And then I'll keep my traps, all in one bag. Something I can carry, I can put a sling on it if I need to, right here. And I'll show you later. I keep coils of wire, like I showed you before. They come in handy. Heavy gauge wire. Then I take snares I have probably 16 snares in here so you gotta keep you gotta take snares and then I'll take uh, about four one and a half bridgers not a lot because they really they really make a lot of weight so you gotta watch what we're carrying a multi tool brought this this is just to show you you can get an inexpensive one and they still work nice uh, it's a Winchester. It's a Walmart thing. It's uh, twelve dollars. So you can build your kit, and I also take nails with. They're very, very handy. So then I take construction garbage bags, which are heavy plastic. You can lay down on the ground to keep you from getting convection of the cold weather and. Uh, ground and I just put pine boughs underneath. Hemlock work real great here. This is a secret. Everybody should take this with. Let me bring you in a little closer. So I took a saddle bag. Got a tractor supply on clearance. It's only Three bucks for that. I keep Fat Max saw. Got a little newer one here, so it'll cut even better than the last time I showed you. And that's just 
a great saw I learned a long time ago. These teeth, they're triple ground teeth and a lot of saws don't have triple ground. What else I keep in this bag is a Rossi 22 and it's completely easy to take apart and put together. So I just take it with here in that little bag and here I got the stock and the handle everything's right here and see I got it together already and you just tighten that so you can get 20 gauge 410 243 it's all in that little gun right there and it's handy and I showed you before the sights are really great so I've killed lots of stuff with that and I find it's easy to carry. When I want to leave base camp, I do that. And here's the sling for it. Already has one with it. So that's what I've been doing. There it is apart. And it all fits in that bag right there. Uh, different barrels might be a little longer, like your shotgun barrel. So you have to arrange them different in your pack. But there's everything you need in that little bag right there. So, next out of the bag here is in the bottom. I keep most times I use this Keldy sleeping bag, and it's good for 20 degree weather. And that, a lot of times that's what you have three quarters of the year. Uh, we're gonna have reasonable nights, so I'm gonna use this. And another trick I learned was I tarp strap it. It makes it your sleeping bag a lot more compact. So you roll it real tight and then you tarp strap it. And then if you put it in your bag, it only takes up half the room of what a normal bag would take. And that I bought Gander Mountain on clearance for $20. Another thing great to have is this knife. This is what I use. It's a throwing knife. It's a file. It's a splitting knife. It makes a good splitting fro. And I can show you later here. And also, it is a uh, knife for digging. If you need to dig for your trap sets, well there you go. You already got it. You don't have to carry a big shovel or a big trowel. You can use this knife. It's plenty strong enough made it with a mule deer antler it very well balanced and I can throw it real well I showed you before I use that a lot I just made a sheath that you can put on your side and carry it when you're around camp or when you're busy another thing in my pack up here in the top compartment I carry my cooking gear and my food but smart thing to carry is canteen I keep it just a cheap plastic canteen that's light and this is a Walmart six dollar frying pan I got a couple of them because they don't last as well as a you know a cast iron but they're light and they're easy to use and this canteen fits in it so I bought the canteen really cheap also and then I keep a cup for making your brew. That's a standard cup with handles. Most people have seen that. That's a camping item. And I take an Amazon spoon, fork. You can take them apart and use it. It's got a can opener on it. Things that are handy. An extra knife for your food. Not a very sharp knife, but a one for your food though. And then, what I do is pack it all up, put my clothes in the top of my pack, above my food, and 